because I'm trying to get people today to stop and think for themselves about what's going on. Now, my book, Rule by Secrecy, uh, tracks what I call the secret societies of the day back through history. Uh, and uh, I call them secret societies, although they're not truly secret. They, they even have their own websites, and they publish publications and stuff. And I'm talking, of course, about the Trilateral Commission, which is uh, nothing more than an offshoot of the more secretive Council on Foreign Relations, which by many accounts has dominated United States foreign policy since before World War II. Uh, the Council on Foreign Relations was created right after World War I uh, as an effort to try to sway Americans into accepting what they call globalization. In other words, global government one world military, one world economic system. At that time, they called it the League of Nations. But uh, the League of Nations didn't work because the Congress of the United States at that time said, I don't think we're willing to give up our national sovereignty. So they created the Council on Foreign Relations to um, help try to push the idea for this globalization. And, of course, we see that in action today through uh, – secret society connected trade organizations such as the World Trade Organization. Now, the inner core elite of these organizations, and just because somebody's a member of the Trilateral Commission or the Council on Foreign Relations, that does not make them some sort of sinister conspirator. Um, a lot of them are in there for the business contacts, the social contacts, and a lot of them just want to rub elbows with the rich and powerful. But at the inner core of these societies, we find the same families and the same names, and we particularly we find people who go and attend the yearly meetings of what has become known as the Bilderbergers. They are so secretive they don't even have a proper name. They just meet. Uh, they're called the Bilderbergers because they were first discovered meeting at the Bilderberg Hotel in Holland back in 1954. Um, and this, the Bilderbergers are comprised not only of corporate leaders and political leaders in the United States, but also of Europe and uh, other other areas, such as Asia. Yeah. And they meet under armed guard, and uh, no one is allowed to say what they're talking about. Now, this is disturbing to me because um, very high-ranking leaders in the United States have attended. Um, Hillary Clinton in 1992 was a guest of the Bilderbergers, and that's why I think that we can probably look to her for presidential aspirations. But to me, the fact that they would all meet in secrecy and that we can't find out what they're doing, uh, I mean, Alex, think what would happen if all the owners of the National Football League franchises were to meet in a big hotel under armed guard for several days and then come out and refuse to reveal what they talked about.